Johnny Atmore, and I have the privilege of being the president of the Rancho Ventura Conservation Trust, and we are so happy you're here for our Earth Day celebration. So, how many of you are ready to plant that new tree? Good. Let's keep the love going and keep the vibes going. We're going to do a couple of thank yous. We have a couple of special guests that are going to offer some words, and then we're going to plant that tree. So. Everybody okay? Can you hear me okay back there? Way in the back, raise your hands. Good, we wanna make sure. I have to just take a moment. I, my breath got taken away when I was just visiting with two of my friends and I hugged both of them and I said, I cannot believe so many people came out. So if you're standing next to somebody you've never known before, make sure you introduce yourself like church at the end of the ceremony. Then we will do that because that's always a good thing. Um, all of you are very, very special to us, but we have a few thank yous and a couple special recognitions if you will allow me. First, uh, we, have, we have great folks. All of you are wonderful. We are so excited to have Assemblywoman Jackie Irwin here. There's Jackie. And of course, our Ventura City Councilman, Mike Tracy. Neil Andrews. Matt LeVere. Brian Brennan is representing the County Board of Supervisors and specifically Steve Bennett. Thank you, Brian, for being here. Our uh, City of Ventura Community Development Director, Jeff Lambert. And who doesn't love the fair? 31st Agricultural District Fair Board President, Dan Long. Our Ventura County Cattlemen's President, Bev Bigger, is in the house as well. Stephanie Caldwell from the Ventura Chamber, and Sabrina Rodriguez from Ventura Unified School District. She is on the board. And these very handsome gentlemen back here, they're trying to be shy, are our Rancho Ventura Conservation Trustees. John Hecht, Mark Hartley, Brad Haley, Don Jensen, Chap Morris. And of course, Rich Atmore, the founder, and you're gonna hear from him in just a little bit. Now, for all of you that really know me, you know I run hot all the time and I have 50 different things I'm juggling. And there is no way we could have pulled this off without so much help. And there were big things and little things. The Ventura Botanical Garden directors, we have to give them a shout out. They were so helpful. David Comden, our publisher here for Southland Publications, he did the hike, Ventana and the reporter, really appreciate the love and the support. Our special thanks though to our friends who did not hesitate to say, Bonnie, what do you all need? And they were there. So first and foremost, our trust uh, trustees, their wives, Angie Hecht, Yay! Kathy Hartley, Yay! and Lori Morris, and so, so wonderful. Randy Beasley and Vince. Vince was one of your drivers. He was in the Dodge. And their entire family came out to help. Thank you for that. Mike and Cindy Reinwald. Craig Rosar. Clay Farr. Uh, we also have, of course, Sandra and Jessica King. They were your greeters for all your hikers and in the parking lot. Uh, Barron Brothers Nursery provided this beautiful tree. And Rich will tell you all about the tree in a moment. And we never could have done this without the help of Jose at Performance Nursery and his amazing daughter, Brenda. Their whole family came out to help. And we want to capture this moment and keep it in our memories, but also use it as a way to inspire all of us to come together around this public benefit corporation that we put together so that we could enjoy moments like this. So our photographers are our storytellers. Chris Ryan has be, uh, become our official photographer. He's out here. I get home from work at 7 o'clock at night. He's shooting pictures. Chris, raise your hand. And for all of you, please, one per couple or one per family because we did not expect so many friends. But there are no cards when you leave that um, our friends will help you take with you that have this beautiful imagery. Now, Jim Martin and Guy Martin have been a part of our ranch for a really long time. Give them a round of applause. They've got the drone out. They always are taking photos and videos. Stephanie Hogue is here and Amanda Peacock. Thank you for capturing this moment. And Brandy, of course, is a photographer as well. With that said, I'm just going to offer just a couple more minutes because I know we're in the sun. And I have to acknowledge one more person that I would be remiss if I didn't mention. And that is my most amazing sweet mother-in-law, Marie Atmore. 
the team at RA Atmore and Sons, Tyler and Angel that you met driving the truck, Inga that's here, the entire RA and Atmore family, they just rolled up their sleeves like everyone else and said, let's get this done. So thank you to them as well. They are our family. So Rancho Ventura Conservation Trust, what the heck, what is that, right? We, those are the questions we get. What are you doing? Are you doing equestrian therapy? Are you doing hikes? Are you doing youth programs? Are you farming? Yes, yes, and yes. So uh, very quickly, I will give you the Reader's Digest version. As you know, my husband Richard has been stewarding this land since 1979, and it is his love and his joy, and it has become his passion to be that beneficiary for the community to keep and care for this land in the most pristine way possible. And that's where this whole idea stemmed from. It was from Richard's vision. And a couple of years ago, he said to the landowners who had been leasing the ranch for decades, the community doesn't want to build here. They want to continue to see that beautiful working landscape. What would it mean if we could start a conservation trust where everybody could be benefited through it? Something that all Venturians love, but as well as our whole community. And we did a lot of research. A lot of nights when I would get home from work, we would talk and we would talk to more people and we would do more research. Eventually, we established the Rancho Ventura Conservation Trust, and Lloyd said, this is what the community wants. Let's do this together. And so 865 acres went into the trust line, which is where you're standing right now, and this is why this is possible. But we're just getting started, folks, which is why we were asking you to fill out these cards. We now have an opportunity to buy the next part of the parcel owned by Lloyd, which is 752 acres. It's only going to take $5 million to make it a reality. $5 million is nothing for an entire county and an entire city who cherishes not just the Two Trees landmark, but the ability to know that when they look up at these working landscapes, they will never be developed. We know you want to be part of that. Let me hear those of you that want to be part of that. So this is where you decide to make this a reality or not. We're all going to need to get together. We're going to need to pitch in, count pennies, do lemonade stands, whatever it takes. But we can do this together, and forever it'll stay conserved. I would love to have Councilman Mike Tracy. This man is a worker bee. He's going to offer a couple of words, and then Assemblywoman Jackie Irwin will, and then we'll get to the planting of those trees. Mike? I have never been called a worker bee in my life. <laughs> I, I worked for Bonnie. Because, well, do I need to tell you why I worked for Bonnie? Uh, listen, thank you all for being here today. Uh, Bonnie asked me to invite a few friends, and I didn't invite everybody here, but I did one evening about midnight after a glass of wine, I started inviting people, and I got a little carried away. So I'm glad everybody I invited didn't come, because the turnout here is awesome. And you know, as I, uh, I've been listening to some of the conversations here, and as I look out into the, the, the faces here today, I'm, I'm pretty sure that most people here today have been here before. And I want to remind all of you that if, unless you had specific approval of the landowners, when you were here before, you were trespassing. So if this was one of those, uh, if this was one of those uh, police sting operations, the sheriff's helicopter would now fly over and I would say, freeze, you're all under arrest. And I haven't gotten to do that for a while, so that feels pretty good. Thanks for giving me that opportunity. Um, fortunately, we are here today as guests of Bonnie and Rich and the, uh, the Rancho San Buenaventura Conservation Trust. So let's give them one more round of applause for getting us here today. I, I cannot believe how beautiful it is up here, and this is really a, it's a privilege to be here today, and I really want to thank them for making this a community event. Uh, today is about planting this tree behind me, and uh, this uh, Two Trees site is such an iconic site for Ventura. For many people in Ventura, it represents the natural beauty of Ventura, the resilience and determination of our population. Uh, it's been the site of many engagements, uh, wedding parties, uh, and anniversaries, unbeknownst to the property owners. <laughs> there are also, I, I did a little web search today, and there's like 10 businesses in Ventura that use two trees as their, uh, their name. Two Trees Optometry. And we have uh, Dr. Chris Scromey here today. Where are you, Chris? Right back here. He took over Bob Paisen's business and renamed it Two Trees. He was fairly new to Ventura, I think, and thought that'd be a great name. 
And uh, I just want to know, because if we weren't planting this tree and this other tree dies, how would zero trees optometry sound to you? I don't think it would work. And we've got a two trees restaurant. We have a two trees physical therapy. There's even a two trees uh, jewelry. Is there two? Okay, two trees jewelry. There's a two trees alpaca. Are they represented here today? I'm not. It, okay, but they're here too. This is terrific. So, anyway, we need we need to make sure that this doesn't uh, become zero trees. We're gonna, we're going to take care of that today. So beyond beyond what's happening today here, and I think Bonnie mentioned it, uh, there is a a real effort to keep this property uh, free and available to the community for forever. And the opportunity we have today should be available to everyone in Ventura and everyone who visits Ventura. So I hope we can all, after today, we can go back home, go back to our places of work, and we can figure out a way that we can work with this trust that, that Richard Atmore has uh, so brilliantly gotten started. Uh, figure out a way that we can all work with him to make this a reality. So once again, thank you all for being here today and onward and upward to the trust. Thank you. Jackie Warren, would you offer a couple of words before we plant that tree? I have to lift that up a little bit. Boy, this is truly spectacular, and that ride up the road was truly hairy. I, I want to know how, who, where are the hikers? Who are the ones that actually hiked it? Good for you. That's very impressive. I, I first became aware of this area probably six months ago. Uh, Bonnie and Rich took me for a tour of their incredible ranch and, and showed me everything they're doing to promote uh, sustainability. And, and it's very impressive that they continue in their work to benefit this community. And so thank you very much for having me here today to witness the replanting of the, the second iconic uh, tree that makes up the two uh, trees of Ventura. I'm very grateful for the effort and dedication of the Rancho Ventura Conservation Trust that has led us to this day. They intend to protect hundreds of acres. At the completion of, of their work, and you heard Bonnie say that, 1,612 acres of beautiful land will be protected. Incredible. It's also exciting to know that this land is going to be a public resource at some point. There are plans in the works to develop a, a trail system and facilitate other opportunities for uh, hiking and, and other recreational uses. So I, I know Mike said it already, but I think that uh, we need to give a huge thanks to Rich and Bonnie Atmore. They have done just an incredible job. This, this land has been a working ranch for 220 years and has provided some of the most beautiful views in Ventura County. Richard Atmore has provided stewardship of this land since 1979 and has received many, many environmental uh, awards throughout the years. Their conservation efforts and desires to share this beautiful land with the community and increase outdoor learning experiences and most importantly, allow our children to grow up and appreciate open space and agriculture, which is what Ventura County is known for. Because of the harmful effects of climate change, wildlife habitats and ecosystems continue to be negatively impacted. The protection of natural land is of critical importance and we have great visionaries to help us mitigate these uh, issues. So thank you once again for inviting me to address you and thank you so much, Bonnie and Rich. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jackie. I really appreciate all those comments. It's pretty awesome that you could make it here. And thanks to all our friends and neighbors, everybody who made it here, it's really heartwarming, you know, to send out 100 invitations and look at everybody that came. <laughs> you know, I thought I had eight friends and I found out I have over 100 friends. And it really warms my heart, but I truly, I thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day on this 2017 Earth Day to come and join this, this day with us. So, welcome. You know, when you spend a lot of time out on this ranch like I have in the past, you really appreciate what you have going out here. And you know, thousands of years ago, the Chumash roamed these hills and walked up and down through these canyons. They earned a living on this land, and it was important to them. And they taught it to generations that came after them. In 1780s, the mission was founded. And with the mission came the cattle and the herds of horses. There were thousands of cattle on thousands, 
43,000 acres out here that was all part of the Rancho X mission. And this particular ranch right here was the heart of the rich Rancho X mission. It was the heart of what the mission had, the first lands that they raised the cattle and the horses on. But after about 60 years, the mission, the uh, Spanish turned it over to Spanish land grants. And the European ranchers came, came in, in and, uh, and they settled on the land. And those, those names included lots because they included names like Manuel Poli, who run cattle out here, and Jose Arnez, Mr. Ibaru, if you ever heard of Ibaru Street down here, ran sheep in Hall Canyon. There were the Sextons, who had this ranch land where the trust is now and land over into Harmon Canyon. And then there were the Lloyds, who bought what's the Mariano Rancho now. Louis Lloyd was a retired, uh, uh, he was a retired um, colonel in the Confederate Army. And he came and bought this ranch over here in 1985. So past ranchers were important stewards of this land. And, the Span and they learned from the Spanish, who learned from the Chumash, how to take care of these properties. In the late 1800s, uh, Ralph Lloyd, who was uh, Louis Lloyd's oldest son, he bought this particular ranch after they found the, they founded the oil field in the Ventura Avenue oil field, and he's considered the father of Ventura Avenue oil field. And they bought this particular ranch off, uh, off the Sexton family, and it's the land that is the Ventura Conservation Trust today. So we're really proud that that all took place. Let's talk a little bit about these trees. How did these trees get here? Well, rancher Joseph Sexton had a neighbor. His name was Oren Marin. And the two of them decided they were going to come up and plant 13 eucalyptus trees to mark this property line. And right where this fence is behind you, where you walk through the gate, that's the property line. And on one side was the Lloyd Ranch, and on this side was the Sexton Ranch. And so they planted these 13 trees to mark the western boundary. Oren Marin came up to water those trees, and he had a few friends that came with him. And one in particular was E.P. Foster, on a regular basis, come up to help water these trees. And a lot of other volunteers came along with him. They didn't have pickup trucks like we do. We're gonna have a 300 gallon tank in the back of our pickup trucks. They had mules and horses. And they packed water up about 50 gallons at a time and watered these trees probably a couple times a week until they got established. So these trees were planted in 1898, but in 1903, a wildfire came through this part of the country and it burned up all the trees but five. And those five trees remained as an important landmark on top of this hill for 37 years. Then in Halloween of 1940, some of our local pranksters thought it'd be a good idea to come up here and cut three of those five trees down. I think there's a few people here that might know whose dads did it, but nobody really ever wants to fess up. However, some of good citizens like you guys here today in 1956 came up and replanted three more trees, once again making it five trees. But then in 1958, more vandals came along and cut down two trees. And so for a short period of time, in about 1960, we had three trees. But then right around 1960, one of the trees fell ill like this one here and fell over and died. So that remained the two trees that we see on top of this hill today. And that's how this landmark became two trees. The east tree, the one over here, the east tree on this side over here, this is a tree that was planted in 1998. It's one of the original 13 trees. And the tree that you see over here on the west side, that tree was planted was one of the replacement trees in the 1950s. So today we're here to replace the original tree that was planted by Joseph Sexton and Oren Marin in 1898. So I'll tell you a little bit about the people that donated this land because like I said, Ralph Lloyd bought this ranch off the Sextons. And the Lloyds are a great family. They've done so much around Ventura County. Like I stated previously, Ralph Lloyd was the father of Venture Avenue oil field. I don't think you have to look into too much research to know how important that was back in the 30s and 40s to the city of Ventura. As a matter of fact, between 1929 and 1935, the city of Ventura tripled because of the Ventura Avenue oil field and population and growth. In the 1940s, like I said, Ralph Lloyd purchased this ranch here, and the Lloyds have had a long history of generous donations. They donated the land where Royal Verde Park sits today. They donated the land where the Poinsettia Pavilion will be parked today. They not only donated the land, the Lloyds built the building because Ralph Lloyd had four daughters and he thought he should give something to the women of Ventura in, in the name of his four daughters. So he built that women's center for the community. I think that was just a really good thing to do. So I told my wife I'd make my comments short because she has a long stick with a hook on it. So pretty soon she'll get it out. 
But I, I, I want to just follow up by, you know, we all owe Lloyd a huge debt of gratitude because without Lloyd, this conservation trust wouldn't be here and this land wouldn't be protected in perpetuity. And, you know, it's possible to, it's possible to preserve this land in perpetuity and we did it. So, so that's what it's going to be. In perpetuity, this land is going to remain in agriculture. This land is going to remain open space. We're going to open this land up for the public to come in and enjoy. We're going to have school kids up here in the fourth grade and teach them about the importance of agriculture and open space and habitat and environment. And we're going to do it together as a community. And with you working with us, we can get all this done. So with that, I'd like to put a short blessing on this tree if you'll bear with me. Lord, thank you for all the stewards that took care of this land in the past. And please place a hedge of protection on this new tree. Because this tree is an important beacon to the citizens of the city of Ventura and the people of Ventura County. And it's important to each and every one of us. And thank you so much for giving us this opportunity because this tree is just the start. We promise that we'll take care of the land, the water, and the environment up here with all our heart and soul and pass it on to those that'll do the same. So thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Now, let's plant that tree. <laughs> Guys, is Jose here? I would answer. All right, you want to come over and give us a hand, boys? That tree is too heavy for Bonnie to lift and put in that hole. <laughs> Don't be shy. Once we're done planting the tree, Jose and his family have offered so much help. Thank you so much for being part of this historic moment. Once it's planted, you will all have an opportunity safely to put some dirt over the tree, and you can help bless it and help us think of thoughts to keep that tree healthy. Um, thank you again, and let's plant that tree. Also, one final note. Y'all can participate in this. I wanted you to know that I brought my pocket knife and a can of paint. So who wants to be the first to carve their initials in the tree? <laughs> who wants to be the first to spray paint it? Okay, how about if we just let you all put a scoop of dirt in the hole? <laughs> Let's do it. While we're watching the tree be planted, please remember, oh, thank you. Please remember to post your pictures on the Trust website. Please, on Facebook, share those photos. We wanna make sure everybody can see the memories.
Now remember, this is Ventura, so we're all friends. Just get in there and get in line when you're ready to do your scoop. <laughs> it's a great photo op. Okay. 